I think I have to start over. <laughs> Can we just take a second to recognize the fact that I got this latte this morning at 9.30 and it is 2 p.m. Still so good though. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. For anyone who is new, my name is Jenna. I am taking a little break from my Harry Potter marathon that I am currently in the middle of this weekend. And I'm going to be showing you guys pieces that I picked up in Zara and H&M this morning when I went on my coffee run. So wasn't planned at all, but I'm actually really excited to show you guys these pieces because I feel like I actually haven't been doing as much shopping as I normally do for the fall season. And I think it's because I've really built this capsule wardrobe up that I have and I definitely think that most of these things are wants and not needs but it's still fun anyway and i can't wait to show you guys everything i didn't try anything on yet just to let you know so these are going to be my first impressions and then i will also style everything in a cutaway that i will put on the side here make sure you guys don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already i love to post vlogs styling videos haul videos everything kind of fashion oriented but also a little bit of lifestyle within those vlogs i've been incorporating interiors different fall activities that i've been doing in new york city and i would love to have you so we're gonna get started i kind of have a mishmash pile here of everything because it was in my tote bag and you should have seen me walking home. I had it like filled, overflowed to the brim. It was raining out and I just hiked it home because I didn't want to waste a bag in the store. So I was like, no, I can fit it in here. And then I ran out of there overstuffed and probably looked like a lunatic, but we're gonna get started. I have this first piece from Zara. So this to me looked very luxurious, very mountain inspired and I loved that cozy vibe to it. So. We have a charcoal gray cardigan, kind of blending in with the one that I'm wearing right now. By the way, this is from Mid Velvet and it has this oversized collar that I love, especially with a slick bun. And this isn't part of the haul, but I just wanted to mention it to you guys because it's a very nice, high quality brand. And then my earrings are from Madewell. These are kind of like a Bottega dupe and I'm obsessed. I've been wearing these every single day. Anyway, back to the first piece. This is a cuffed cardigan. The material is super nice. It's kind of having this brushed feel to it. And then it has a leather tie. And I loved that this was a nice chunky material and it's an oversized look, but then you have this small belt that will kind of bring your waist in if you choose to wear it with the belt. So the great thing is that this is removable so you can wear it with or without it and get double the use out of it because I think both of them are going to create really different styles and silhouettes. And I've also just haven't really seen a lot of like high street brands doing this sort of tie. So I thought it was a really nice take on a very classic piece. And with this, I kind of want to wear it to work with straight leg jeans and some boots or some sort of heel just to dress it up. But then if I'm running errands and I just want to be super cozy and snuggly, I feel like this will be a really good piece to pair with like knit pants and sneakers and yeah, just different ways that you can wear this. You could dress it up or down and I'm so excited to wear it because it's like, I don't know, something that I don't already have in my wardrobe. Okay, this next piece is also from Zara and I loved the colors of this shirt. So I am a sucker for a striped shirt. I feel like I always gravitate toward them, but I never actually buy them. And I do have one from M that is more of a finer pinstripe, but I really like the look. I think it looks really chic to have an oversized button down shirt and then some straight leg jeans and a chunkier sneaker. I feel like that's my ultimate, sorry for the honking. Um, I feel like that is a really nice elevated casual look. That's like my ideal Friday in the office look, even though I don't go to the office on Fridays. But this shirt has a charcoal gray and kind of an ivory color to it. And I really liked the thicker stripes. I think it looks really chic. And I got it in a large so that it would definitely be that oversized fit. And this would look really nice with light wash jeans, but I think straight leg gray jeans would look really cool with it. Just straight leg jeans in general to kind of balance out the bottom because I do love this oversized dressing for the fall time. You could also wear this underneath the cardigan that I just showed you guys or underneath any sweater that you want to add a little detail to because this striped collar would pop through the top. Did not mean to sound like a rhyming children's book just now. This is more of a soft material I wanted to mention. It's not that poplin style feeling of like a crisp white shirt. It's a little bit more on the softer side and it moves a little bit easier and it's not as rigid. So just wanted to mention the material for you guys. And, and like I said, I did get this in a size large so that I do have an oversized fit. So just keep that in mind when you are looking at sizing. Okay, then we have a piece from H&M and look 
how snugly this sweater is. I'm so excited about this piece because this is the time where we can dress in a really cozy, chunky knit and not have to wear a jacket yet. And that is like the ultimate weather for me. And this one would be perfect. And I'm really loving this sort of like gray and cream tone color combination. So I have a pair of gray trousers that I think I will wear with this. But because it's so neutral, you have endless possibilities. I can guarantee that you probably have something already in your wardrobe that you can wear with this like plain chunky knit sweater. But the texture of it is really nice. It kind of has this boucle look to it, which I think it makes it look really expensive. And then we also have a wider cuff on the sleeve, which is kind of like the one that I'm wearing now. Again, I think it looks a little bit pricier when they do this just because it seems more I don't know. I think there's this sort of like impracticality of having a wide sleeve like this because you probably can't fit it into a coat. But then I think that does make something look more expensive. And then the rib details also carry down to the hem of the sweater. So really cozy. I also would love to wear this with like chocolate brown. I think that that fits in the family of like these warm tones for the fall and winter months. And I didn't really dress like that in the past. I only had like cool tone things that I would wear with all black which I still love, but I think that this is going to warm up my wardrobe for the fall. Okay, next we have a super soft accessory and it might be a little bit too early to be talking about scarves, but I saw this one in H&M and the price was too good. So I just wanted to show you guys this really light, light gray scarf. So I live in New York City. We have cold weather for about seven or eight months of the year and all of that, you definitely need to have scarves in your wardrobe and this is a style that I don't currently own so it has the little tassels at the end but it's just this one panel of a scarf it's not like a huge blanket scarf which is what I have now and honestly I kind of find those a little bit more high maintenance because you have to make sure that it's like wrapped around you correctly and that one part's not dragging on the floor behind you while you're in the subway and this is just a really simple like clean cut piece that you can just wrap around once and not really have to worry about it it's so so soft this is where it comes into play that you kind of don't really want to have a wool scarf around your neck because it's going to be itchy. So this material is definitely perfect and it's $17, $18. So if you guys don't have one of these or if you live in an area that doesn't get too cold, but sometimes you do need a scarf and you don't want to invest a super high amount in something that you're not going to wear too much, then I think that this is a really good option. Okay, so then let's get to a true boucle style jacket. This is a bomber from H&M and I have one bomber in my wardrobe. It is kind of like a brushed wool looking material and this is a really good contrast to that. So if I really love a style and I wear it a lot, I try to pick something that's in the same family but that is not the same because I know that I'll get the same use out of it but I do wanna kind of have a different purpose. So this is a nice like creamy colored tan and we have a full zip down the front. I wish this was not silver. I know that's a really strange preference, but I kind of wish that this was like either tonal or that you couldn't see the zipper as much or maybe gold, but I don't know. I feel like it makes it look a little bit cheap, but this was $58 for a coat, so not too bad. But I really loved the fit of this. I like that it has this sort of elasticated bottom here. So we do have some details throughout. And then there's also these little piping moments on the sleeves as well. And something like this, super easy to style, but I also love that this is a practical piece to have. A lot of people reach out to me about fall coats because we have these like super nice heavy trenches or puffers for the winter time, but it's really that in between weather where I in the past have also struggled. I really only used to have blazers and I didn't have any other in-between coat. And I think that this is a really good option. If you're someone that's a little bit more casual and you don't want to wear something that is like structured or that has like a shorter pea coat style, I think that this is a more street style and casual look to go for. It's a little bit more of like an oversized look and I love the material. I think it's going to be really nice to pair with trousers. And for me, like pieces that are a little bit more dressed up because I do view this as something that is a little bit more on the casual side, but then also a really great jacket to throw over a workout outfit if you're walking to the gym or something and you wanna look a little bit more put together. So really nice tone on this. I love the texture. I'll try to show you guys, but it kind of looks like my headboard. <laughs> the same like boucle style and 
I do think that when we add texture into an outfit, it makes it look that much more expensive. It looks like you put a lot more thought into it, but really it's just a simple piece. That is a really nice neutral to mix into your wardrobe. I feel like it's not a fall haul without me getting a sweater dress from H&M. And I am realizing that I have something that's a little bit similar to this, so I'll have to compare and contrast the two because the other one that I have is a little bit longer, but it is a gray style, a little bit darker than this. But I picked up this sweater dress just because these are the pieces that I love to personally throw on when I have no idea what to wear. And I'm sure this happens to you guys as well. I think it's a misconception that people think that because I love fashion and I love dressing that I don't get into those instances where I'm in a rut or I don't feel like dressing up, but that is not true. And to save me from that, we have a knit midi dress. This is something that you pop on, you have your slick bun, you have your makeup done, or maybe you don't, and you can still look very put together without putting in any thought to it because it's one piece, it's the entire outfit, and really the only thing you have to do is if it's colder out, you could pop a blazer over your shoulders and you're out the door. So it's a really nice length. We have a high mock neck, but it's not a turtleneck, so really good for when it's not too cold out yet. And then ribbed cuffs at the sleeve and also at the bottom. This has a slit on the side, which I like because it doesn't constrict you when you walk, but you can pair this with sneakers, you can pair it with heeled booties, you can pair it with like knee high boots so that it doesn't show any of your skin if it's getting colder out. Like, a ton of different ways to wear this. You can also belt it, which is probably what I'm going to do is either put my skinny or like a little thicker YSL belt with it just to draw the waist in a little bit. But I do really like the way that it looks with a blazer thrown over your shoulders to kind of create a little bit more of a silhouette to it. But that's the beauty about this. It's an oversized fit. So if you just want to go with that casual oversized style, then that is fine too. And I think I just explained 47 different ways to wear this. So we're going to move on to the next piece before I overwhelm you with my scattered brain. Okay, I saved this piece for last because it's probably the most shocking, but also if you didn't make it to the end of the video, then I think those pieces were probably the priority just because they're a little bit more everyday practical capsule wardrobe items that you guys can shop. But this dress I saw in Zara, mind you I have not tried it on, but I had this idea to wear a red dress with a red lip to my friend's wedding in May. I'm very well aware that it is October right now and I have plenty of time to find a dress, but I am a firm believer and my mom taught me that if you ever find an occasion dress when you find it and you don't necessarily have someone to, somewhere to wear it, pick it up at that time because then you will always be grateful that you don't have to scramble looking for a dress or any occasion piece when the time comes. So I'm 27, a lot of my friends are engaged, I just had my friend's engagement party last weekend, so I know that I will have a ton of weddings and I have four next year already and so the next few years is definitely going to be the years of occasion and dressing up and all that fun stuff so i saw this and figured it would work for something so goes along with my red dress theory i need to make sure that the length is nice and that it goes all the way to the ground because i am going to a black tie wedding so it does have to be a more gown silhouette but it definitely matches my nails and matches the idea that I had in mind. So this is a one shoulder silky dress. It has a double, what is this called? Double strap on the one shoulder and then the other side just has a single strap. So I thought that that would look really nice and classic. And then we just come down into a really nice, luxurious. I do have to say that I know that Zara's quality is always questionable, but these silky materials that they do are so much better than H&M, so much better than Mango, if I have to say, and they're soft and they don't really crease, which is fantastic, especially when you're at a wedding and you're gonna be sitting down, but then you're gonna be dancing and you're, you know, doing all the different things. And this just has really nice movement to it, I can tell. I just fell in love with this. On top of falling in love with the price, because this is $70. <laughs> so if I just found a wedding guest dress for $70, or if it doesn't work on me and you guys end up wanting to pick it up and you just found a dress for $70, then I think we're all winning here. So I pictured styling this, and I'm not gonna do this in the cutaways because it's a Sunday and it's very low key, but I pictured wearing this with a red lip, not red nails because I think that's going over the top, but I love a red lip paired with a red dress. I think it looks so chic. I've seen it on the red carpet and I always think that it looks so classic and stunning and just really pretty and feminine without being like too over the top. But 
You guys know I don't really wear colors, so I think that weddings are a really good time to like experiment with color and different patterns. And that's what we're gonna be doing with this cute little number. So really perfect dress to wear to a wedding if you guys have one coming up. And I think it comes in other colors too. All right, so that is everything that I picked up this morning from Zara and H&M. I hope you guys loved this video and found it helpful if you are looking to add in some wardrobe staples into your existing outfits and if you needed outfit inspiration in general then i hope the cutaways were helpful for you too if you need more outfit inspiration i'm posting every single day on my instagram so don't forget to follow me over there it's just at jenna evangelia same as my youtube channel but i want to thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate every single one of you make sure to comment like subscribe or leave any questions you have down below and i will see you all soon